everyone, welcome back to my channel, the collection Museum is 13, as usual. Okay, guys, today we have guest, Homoen uh, Agrohovich, and uh, he's studying uh, in Korea. That's why I just decided to make this video especially for you, because a lot of, uh, a lot of people just asking about Korea, about other countries. They want to work, they want to study there, that's why uh, I've decided to make this video. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. First of all, thank you for inviting me. Welcome. Uh, how's it going? How's your yes. life? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I just recently um, came back. Yeah. Just to have rest. Happy to see you. Yeah. So, yeah, I study in South Korea at Solbridge International School of Business. And yes, you're welcome to ask me any, any questions. Sir, I have a lot of questions actually, but I just sorted some of them and I just want to ask from you uh, really interesting questions. Okay, uh, can I ask yes, if sure. you don't mind? Okay, yeah. okay, the first one is, I think uh, it's really interesting for uh, my subscribers. Uh, can you tell to my subscribers mm -hmm. a little bit about yourself? Well, yeah, so my name is Homo Yoon. Uh, you can call me Homa. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm 20 now and I study in South Korea. Uh, I was born here in Parikana City. I went to uh, school number two here in our city and I studied English at school and then I was generally interested in learning English. Um, I was not kind of interested in other subjects because my mom is an English teacher and I think she is my inspiration to follow and it, I don't know, it turned out that I started doing well in English and I heard about IELTS and I started learning like everybody else and then uh, a lot of people we're going uh, to South Korea and some of my friends were there and I just decided that if I go there I can, you know, uh, get out of my comfort zone and experience something new and yes. Yeah, thank you. And the second question is, uh, I know you as a good speaker I mean, uh, and you know, how did you start to learn English and uh, uh, how you just achieved this level? I mean, uh, your speaking is great. I mean, just uh, like really. Thank you, thank uh, you. English and English. Uh, you know, uh, so my entire, I can say, acquisition of English language yeah. uh, goes back to my school time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really grateful that I had good teachers who paid attention to the development of language and they pushed me. So I learned most of the grammar at school and as you know, second, second school is yes. uh, specialized in teaching English so naturally um, I had the advantage of studying there. Uh, but I can say like the real change in, in my process and in my progress as well was the moment when I decided to study IELTS because when I started reading those things and I started listening to those um, tasks and writing essays, uh, my mind just broadened and I was like, I think I need to do something new and I started coming to the library and when I saw people like communicating in English, yeah. th this was like this was amazing because it reminded me kind of an American speaking club and I was just interested in that and I continued and it turned out that after some time me myself started hearing talks yes. and that's how I, I developed my English. Yeah, and let's move to another question. The most interesting and the most popular question, I think. Okay, nowadays you are studying in Korea. Yeah. Yes. What's your measure and what are are your impressions about Korea and about Korean culture, maybe about mm -hmm. education there? Yeah. So, uh, as I said, 
I study at Soulbridge International School of Business. So my major now is business administration. And hopefully, um, like on my third year, I can choose my specialization in, I want to specialize in marketing. Uh, so I'm really interested in marketing. You want to change your major? No, no. So the major is business administration, uh -huh. but the specific field of uh, yeah, sure. study okay. hopefully is going to be marketing. Uh -huh. um, I can say the education is really cool. So it, the quality is really high. There are foreign professors at, at my university and like the the way they teach is really different from ours and the whole attendance system like the the whole evaluation process of students performance is really different i can say uh when it comes to like a general impression about korea so for me people people are really nice so they are willing to help coming, yes. yeah foreigners they're ready to you know if you're lost they're ready to help you to show you the way out uh -huh. and culture is really beautiful yeah like the food their national clothes uh like the way that they speak uh -huh. and i was really beautiful and i'm like yeah i like spending my time studying Korea. You know, some people say that uh, our culture, Korean uh, culture, you know, almost the same. What do you think about this? Maybe. Uh, so, like, whether it's the same or not? Yes. Yeah, of course, it's it's not the same. But I'll I'll tell you one similarity. So, there are some terms in the grammar uh -huh. of uh -huh. of languages. Uh -huh. So, if you know uh, the sentence structure uh -huh. of Uzbek language yes. uh, is really similar to sentence structure of yes. Korean. So when you start learning Korean grammar, you can see that it's, it's almost like the same, like how we build the sentences. Mm -hmm. It's like the same in Korean and it, that's why it's easier for Uzbek guys <laughs> to, learn <laughs> to, to learn Korean, Korean faster, <laughs> but like, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I... I'm not that good at Korean, but like only now I'm trying to learn it faster and better yeah. because most of my time I'm like busy with um, learning business related courses and that's why I have little time for Korean. Uh -huh. But I hope I, yeah. I can improve. Yeah, you mentioned about uh, you, you know uh, education system, mm -hmm. and I have one question: mm -hmm. What's the difference between our and their education system? So yeah, to be honest, uh, the, the the difference is big. Uh, I can say it's huge because. Uh, so as I told you, uh, foreign professors, right? So yes. they can uh, really uh, provide you the lectures, which will test your not your memory, as most of our courses yeah. test, sure. but your critical thinking. To scram, yes. Yes. But like there, in during the lectures, you have to think critically. Yes. You have to, you know, communicate with different people, develop your teamwork. Mm -hmm. And as our school is international, we have to understand the cultural differences. Yes. And like learn how to interact with different people. And there are many interactive, you know, activities. There are many clubs. Yes. Uh, where you can join, develop your public speaking, develop your debate skills. It's kind of playing and learning at the same time. Yes. yes. So, okay. And it's so much international. You're meeting people, you make new networking, yeah. and you socialize. And I can give you an example of uh, so I took a business negotiation course, yeah. and the professor. Who teaches this course uh, is graduate of Harvard Law School. So he teaches us how to negotiate. So the, the things that he teaches us is the level of Harvard Law students. Mm -hmm. And the things that we learn, 
how to persuade people to buy into our ideas, to really negotiate well, to persuade them, to do our way, to do things our way, is, is really awesome. He gives us uh, special cases where we have to play roles of lawyers so we can feel like we are lawyers uh, and we have a deal and like you're selling practical me, lessons yes, practical lessons. so you're selling me your house yeah. and i have to persuade you to, to for, for a certain price and you know when you experience these kind of things you really get on the professional level and this is an awesome experience awesome yeah just awesome you know okay the next question is, uh, you know, I remember when you were here, you just, I mean, uh, when you were in Bergen, you just started to uh, organize, I mean, the tap talks, I remember about the tap talks, yeah. tap talks. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, uh, that was awesome, actually, I, I dreamed to talk, I mean, yeah. like you, actually, and uh, what, uh, who just uh, gave uh, an idea about this, mm -hmm. or you yeah. just decided to uh, organize that thing uh, by, by your own? So, uh, but that story of Pep Talks really goes back to, uh, like I say, library and cinema, surprisingly. So as you know, we had uh, a little Swedish cinema in our city, in yeah, Pregnant, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. just, just near the park. Sure. I so remember. I had a friend, his name is Ali Maradon, and yes. I guess you know him. So, yes. so he had the idea of gathering people and showing presentations in his, uh -huh. in his cinema uh -huh. uh, because he had the, all the facilities, all the devices. Yes. Sure. So at first we didn't know how to name that uh -huh. club or activity or whatever, right? And I don't know, so we came up with an idea of so that literally means a short speech uh -huh. intended to motivate people. Sure. So we start gathering people, we start organizing presentations, sharing our ideas on any topic, and that's how Pep Talks was born. And then we came here <coughs> to the library and presented our Pep Talks idea. We made different videos and Yes, that's how it was born. Oh, was... And, and, and uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm so proud because I'm continuing Pep Talks at, at my university oh, yeah. at Sobrachina. Yeah. 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 Yes, so. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the question is, uh, what can you advise to those who are trying to move overseas to study or maybe uh, to work? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, uh, first of all, learn the language. Yeah. So if you're going to South Korea, please learn Korean. Yes. This is so obvious, but a lot of people think that they can learn the language in that country. Yes, that's true, but this is more difficult. So it's better to learn the language first. The basic skills. Yes, to get familiar yes. with yes. the language first. Yes. To get familiar with their culture. Yes. Here, like, know where are you going. Know what's going to fix you. And, yeah, so this is just the basic thing. And if you're going to study, well, make sure that you have certain qualifications. Maybe you need IELTS. Sure. Maybe you need TOEFL if you're going to the United States. And if you're going to work, you need to know what kind of visa you need, what kind of documents you need. Uh, so it's a different question when it comes to work. Yeah, so it's, it involves a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's much more complicated. You don't know about that, exactly. Yes, yeah, I don't know about How to working, work. yeah, but yeah. for studying, you need qualifications. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think the, the last question is, how to get an inspiration? And what to do? What do you think? I think you know about this a lot because I remember that you just you said to me that you read a lot of books about inspiration, about motivation. I remember when uh, you came to library all the time. You talked about this. You tried to inspire us. You tried to just uh, how can I say motivate us by your speech and also by your questions. You know? Yes. Yes. So. So the thing is, 
uh, the inspiration works really differently for different people. So. For some people, it's just enough to watch a short yeah. motivational video and you know really get the motivation and get to the work. For some people, the the motivation is just not enough. They they need something special, right? Some people read books. Some people just go out, hang out with friends, talk and advice, but like truly, really the, I think the right way to find the motivation is to go deep inside of yourself, yes. to question, to give questions to yourself. So you are having the problem, let's say, in life, so make a self book. So go, that's the mirror. Talk to yourself. What is the core issue? Mm -hmm. What is my problem? What is not enough in my life? Why that thing is making me feel not enough? Like, uh, do you think that little piece of motivation really matters? If if I don't change my mind, I mean, no motivation can help if you're just not willing to change your mind. Yes. So some people say a lot of actually a lot of uh, business uh, people say motivation is just rubbish if you can't use that. So no matter how much I, I come here and inspire you, if you're not willing, if you haven't done that self processing, if you're not self aware, you just can't set your mind to to receive that inspiration. Yes. Your, your mind is just constantly blocked and the best way is to talk to yourself, find out. Find out what's the core issue and then I think you can welcome that inspiration. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Your speech was great as usual. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you. Thanks for agreeing just to uh, give a talk, give uh, some kind of suggestions. Yeah, good luck. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. <laughs>